Mbak, saya mulai acaranya ya, Mbak Febri. Oke. Okay. For everyone, to the who has entered the room, we're about to begin. So please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, to the Honorable Dr. Hairun Nisa Hairudin. As a senior lecturer and research fellow of Center Excellence for Social Innovation and Sustainability from University Malaysia Perlis, and a very warm welcome to the participant and student from Stecom University. It's an in the pleasure to have all of you in this memorable occasion, and I would like to thank God for gathering us in, here in a visiting lecture program regarding organizational behavior. Before we begin, please allow me to read our agenda this afternoon. First session, we will be delivered by our guest lecturer, Dr. Hairun Nisa. And finally, there will be a question and answer session after the presentation and continue with the brief photo session at the end. And we will start for this event today. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to remind all of the participants to turn off the microphone during the session. Yeah, so we will start for this class today for Dr. Hairunista. The time is yours. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you very much to the host, Norita. Okay. Uh, so can you hear my voice? Yes, miss. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, first of oh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And good day, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank you so much um, to the organizer um, for organizing this uh, talk series and also for thank you so much for inviting me to be one of the speakers for uh, this program. Okay. Um, so as you all know, this talk on organizational behavior, Okay, I prepared slide for today's talk. Uh, let me share the screen, yeah? Okay. Um, okay, so I will open this one in presentation form. Okay, uh, may I know, can you see my slide? Yes, miss. Okay, thank you so much for your response. Uh, all right. So let's uh, let's start let's start with uh, our agenda okay um, on topic organizational behavior okay look at on this uh, this topic okay leadership and followership okay in organizational behavior um actually there are there are few topics in organizational behavior and leadership is one of the topics in organizational behavior okay and when the uh when i have been assigned to to share any topic with you all actually i'm the one who choose uh, this topic and why i choose this topic leadership because uh, to me it's very it's very interesting topic to be discussed because it close to us okay it close to everybody um whether we are as a leader Okay, or we are appointed as a maybe some some of you are formal leader to any groups or organization, um, or if we are not a leader yet, okay, yet, but we still um a leader, leader to ourselves, we lead ourselves. Ah, uh, so that's why to me this topic is very close to us. And I would like to share on this topic, yeah, on this topic, uh, to you, uh, because one of the ingredients in achieving organizational excellence through leadership, and why I include followership because leadership is um incomplete if we uh, do not explain on the concept of followership too. So hopefully. Uh, this sharing session, yeah, um, will will benefit everybody. Hopefully, I try my best, yeah. Um, I try my best to share uh, on 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 this topic, leadership and followership, going beyond for organizational 
excellence. So one of the ingredients to achieve organizational excellence through leadership. And as you can see here, this is my name and I am from Faculty of Business and Communication from University of Malaysia Police. And this is my contact number. Okay. Right, so uh, this is my outline for um for my presentation today for for my talk today. Um, I will start with a little bit explain a little bit sharing on my background and experience. Maybe uh, some of you uh wondering who am I and my credibility in. Uh, in, uh, to talk to talk about this topic, okay. So let me introduce a bit about myself, okay, and then followed by I will explain or share, uh, what I've learned about the concept of leadership and followership, and then I will also share with you all, um, tips, some tips, yeah, on 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 ensuring in in ensuring effective teamwork. And last but not least, I also list, uh, I also include some strategies, okay, self-development strategies, because I believe that in order for us to be leader, to be a good leader, we must develop our success. Uh, then we may lead. Okay. okay, so that's why I include also self-development strategies. Okay. I think uh this session. Uh, shouldn't be too formal, right? You maybe you all if if you have questions in between in my uh, lecture, you can just ask or we just wait until the end. Uh, which one, Novita? Miss, we will answering after presentation, Miss. Okay, after presentation. All right. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much for for informing me that. Uh, informing me that. Uh, okay. So. Now let's start. Okay, a little bit about myself. Um, as you can see, my name uh Herunisa Binti Herudin. You can call me Dr. Nisa. I am senior lecturer at Faculty of Business and Communication, University of Malaysia Perlis. Okay. Um, for your information, University of Malaysia Perlis located in Perlis, Malaysia, the smallest state in Malaysia. Uh, maybe some of you have been here. Uh, mungkin ada yang pernah datang. Okay, uh, the smallest state and in northern part of Malaysia. Okay, in terms of my education, education background, I graduated for my first bachelor degree in human resource development from University Putra Malaysia. Uh, University Putra Malaysia is one of research universities in Malaysia. So. If you have planned, maybe you all, most of your students, right? Maybe you plan to pursue your study, you may consider universities in Malaysia. Uh, so UPM, one of the research universities uh, in Malaysia. And then, okay, uh, for my education, I, after I finish my first degree, I pursue my study uh, for MBA, Master in Business Administration. Um, in specialization services management from University Malaysia as uh, from University Don Abdul Raza or Uni Raza still in Malaysia, and immediately after I finish my MBA, I pursue my PhD in human resource development from from the same university as my bachelor degree in University Putra Malaysia, University Putra Malaysia juga ah uh, tu. Okay, so uh, uh, for Indonesia, if I'm not mistaken, PhD you all call as S3, right? If I'm not mistaken, uh, so, uh, so yep, yeah, I did call it Indonesia you call as S3, so my PhD is from the end. Okay, that, that's a little bit about my education. Um, in uh, currently, I'm working in Unimap and I also teach business students. Uh, undergraduate undergraduate program here business student in uh, in all the subject I teach HRM human resource management uh, organizational behavior uh, business coaching and also international human resource management okay um, and I have been here in Unimap for almost four years and Alhamdulillah for a number student under my supervision um, means the 
for final year project uh, research with me. So this is uh, the number of graduated and still there are students ongoing uh, during their final year project and research. And I put it here, my research interest um, in which these are the areas that I really love to explore, okay? Uh, about human potential development, about organizational behavior for sure. One of my favorite subjects because it's close to us actually it's about it's about ourselves, it's about relationship, it's about um or in, in Malaysia, okay, organizational behavior we call as the lagat organisasi. Now, I'm not sure. In Indonesia, how how uh, uh how do you call this subject? The like organis the lagat organisasi juga ada? Organizational behavior. Oops, uh, your mic, you, uh, maybe you can put on your mic. <laughs> okay, I just press it, I cannot hear you. Um, okay, so uh, besides organizational behavior, um, I also love to explore more on leadership development and organizational strategy, uh, organizational psychology. Okay, so I emphasize here, uh, maybe who knows through, through this session, we can have like collaboration uh, between Indonesia and Malaysia. Those who are interested to join or to pursue your study in Malaysia, please welcome. Uh, you are welcome to, to, uh, to, to come here to pursue your study or maybe we can have collaboration in terms of research or, or anything like, like today's session. So this is also collaboration by giving some sharing okay uh, between two countries so it's very good initiative uh, uh, from from you all organizers okay that's a little bit about myself um so now let's start uh actually we have already start okay so this is aim for um for today's uh today's sharing okay i hope that i can share uh, knowledge, knowledge in which what I have learned from my professors and also especially and, uh, and especially what I've learned from my mentors. Okay, uh, my mentors in which um uh, he gave um thousand uh, talk to thousand organizations with more than thirty years of experience. Okay, and he shared a lot with me, especially on this topic on leadership. So I hope that I can share also with you all uh, the knowledge and I will also share some experience with, um, with a view to strengthen abilities, um, uh, with a view to strengthening abilities in applying concepts, theories and principles of leadership, uh, hopefully in the most effective ways. All right. Now, uh, if, if my slide doesn't move, let me know, yeah? Okay, so now, do you know what is this? Anybody knows? Or can you uh, find this in Indonesia? Okay, Novita, Novita, say yes. <laughs> do you know? Huh? What Dumpling. is it? Dumpling. Okay, almost, almost correct. Dumpling. Okay. Uh, anyone want to try? What is this? Dim sum. Money. Yes, correct. Dim sum. Yes, dim sum. Correct. Thank you, Novita, for responding. Okay. Yes, this is dim sum. And why suddenly I put this photo? Okay. We are now in in Malaysia. We are right now twenty p.m. So we just pass our lunch time. But those who still want to have lunch still can. Uh, you all at 2 p.m. right? 2 p.m. Okay, I'm so sorry if I cause you hungry. Uh, okay, I put this photo. The, yes, this is dim sum, China one of uh Chinese dishes dim sum, and I, I put this photo because the word dim sum okay means uh this is from Cantonese or we call Cantonese place here yeah? dim sum which means Touch the heart. Okay, touch the heart. It's, uh, and I got the idea of this uh, phrase uh, about dim sum. I 
share with you all this book, uh, In Some Leadership by John Ng. It's a very interesting book okay, about, about leadership. And the author also um, explained on 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 on, on dim sum on dim sum why okay dim sum the meaning of dim sum touch the heart okay because as a leader to be a good leader we want things to get done right okay we want things to get done through others so in order for us to get things done okay uh through others we must know the art of touching people heart uh, so you must know how to touch people heart so that it may help us yeah? uh, it may strengthen our leadership qualities uh, so it is my hope also that this talk on leadership will touch your heart i try my best okay All right now let's uh, review some leadership uh, definitions Okay, actually there are there are thousands, there are there are many definitions of leadership available in in books, in articles, in, in website, okay, but I just extract um the things I just extract definitions that really catch my attention and 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 very precise definition, precise and precise definition. Okay, but then before I uh, share the definition, uh, may I ask all of you, those who can respond to the chat box, okay, you can respond to the chat box. Um, okay, if we talk about, when we talk about leadership, yeah, leadership, what comes to your mind? Okay, what comes to your mind? You may respond to the chat box. Okay, when we talk about leadership, what do you think? Uh, what comes? What is what is the word that comes to your mind when we talk about leadership? You can respond to the chat box. Okay, let me ask you. Okay, okay, I just very uh mentioned an art to influence people. Brilliant. Okay, who else want to try? What comes to your mind when we talk about leadership? Anybody want to try? We have we have a response from Rajesh Rajesh Vali. Okay. How about the others? Okay, let me see. Okay, Navita, the ability of a person or an organization to lead or mentor another person, team, or entire organization. Okay. Okay, good. Good try. Good try. But still on repeating the word leading, uh, leader, leading, leader, leading. So, um, okay, good try, Navita. Okay, so and let me just continue. Okay, thank you for your response. Okay, I close the chat box. Okay, now, uh, as your friends mentioned, Rajas very mentioned influence. Uh, so, uh, you already know. So, it's like, um, you may help me to give the talk. Okay, yes, it's correct. It's, it's about influence. Leadership is about an art to influence. Okay, influence uh, according to this scholar. Influence or the art of process or influencing people so that they strive willingly and enthusiastically towards the accomplishment of group goals okay and second definition by this all this author also emphasize on the process of influence process influence yeah, in which an individual gain that trust and commitment of others and without reliance on formal position or authority move to the group to the accomplishment of one or more tasks. And okay, and one another definition that catch my attention also is about leadership. It's the ability to get men to do what they don't like to do and yet like it. Uh, actually, how to how to get things 
done through other, okay, it become more challenging if if the things that we have we ask people to do is something that they don't like. Okay, if they don't like, it's it, it, it's not easy. Yeah? If you want to ask people to do something that they don't like, but good leader, good leader, okay, it's also about its ability in uh, ability to get people do something that they don't like and yet they may like it better. Okay, uh, so from all these three uh, definitions, yes, we can say that is about. Influence, influence people, influence others. Okay. So this I share with you um, on components of leadership. Okay, components of leadership. There are several uh, components of leadership in which we believe that leadership is an activity or process. Okay, activity or process or phenomenon. Phenomenon is about group phenomenon. It's about the capability to change others towards doing something for certain purpose. So it's up to, to the group who decided on their goals, yeah, on their objective. So they work together, yeah. Uh, they work together. Uh, it's about capability change. Okay, so. Leadership is an activity of process in which involving influence, okay, like uh, the definition mentioned just now, influence. And for us, yeah, especially I give I give the example you as a student, uh, because most of you are students. So um being a student, this is a good practice, a, a good what we call um uh, a good situation where we can we practice ourselves to be a good leader because later you will be an employee, okay? Or maybe some of some of the participants here already an employee. Uh, I'm not sure on that, okay? Maybe I can give uh, in general uh, example. So, uh, being a student, it is process to 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 polish ourselves, okay? To unleash our potential to be a good leader, and to be a good leader is about influence, influence. Influence, uh, so it's also about the way we persuade others. So persuasion, we want to persuade, we want to convince others, convince, um, convince people that we able to do the things that they want us, uh, they want us to do. Uh, so because some leaders, okay, there are leaders who want to be leader, okay. Uh, there are also leaders who are being appointed by people. So, which category of this? Which one that we want? Okay. Um, to me, my personal, my personal view, I think it is better if, uh, if we become leader because because we being appointed. Okay, appointed means people choose us, and we also have the, um, you know, the passion of willing, uh, willing to work for people. Uh, it both. There is our hopefully the lead, uh, we can uh, play or we can play our roles uh, as a leader uh, effectively. Um, some leaders, okay, maybe they don't want to be leader, but they uh, but people see this person has ability to be leader. So try lah, there are people try 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 to be a leader. It's not because they want to be leader, but. Uh, they can gain trust from people, so they being appointed, okay? Because they able to persuade, okay? They able to convince, and and also for a leader, okay? In order for leader to influence, to influence others, okay? Through exemplary behavior, exemplary behavior, uh, behavior that can, um, good behavior, okay? Um, we we influence through action, okay? Not only just give words, okay. We say we must do this, do this, do this, but at the end, our action doesn't portray our words. So we have to make sure uh, a, a good leader, okay, through example, through uh, portray through exemplary behavior. Okay, I give you the example like um, behavior, um, good, exam good example, like um, if leader asks people to be on time, so. 
ask to do on time lecture meeting at 3 p.m. So, if we don't ask people to come on time, he or she must be the one who show to everybody. He or she must come on time. Uh, so, on time in terms of uh, uh, coming to meeting or on time in 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 settling any task, okay, in doing any task. So, that's example of um, uh, good behavior. Okay, be on time, respect, respect others' opinion, respect, uh, respecting others. No. So, it's, uh, this exemplary behavior in which um, if a person portray that kind of behavior, it is also part of influence, influence others, nah? influence others. And to influence, it involves these actors, okay? These both actors. Ah, so, uh, not to say that only leaders play their role, okay? Their roles, followers also play their roles, okay? It involves both, okay? Like we have um, in education, we have teacher, and learner okay um in mentoring program we have mentor and mentee okay in the process of leadership we have to consider both leaders followers because it is incomplete there's no such thing called leader if we don't have follower uh, it is not called leader leader if we don't have follower uh, so that's why both these actors is um uh, these actors uh, both play important role and because of these these actors and the, 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 the process of influencing others with the hope or the outcomes of leadership yeah outcome of leadership first we want to enhance group cohesiveness or group cohesion okay group cohesion we want to enhance group cohesion and we want we want to reinforce Reinforcement, reinforce culture, okay, or as the outcome, reinforcement or change of unit culture. And ultimate purpose, of course, we want to achieve goal, okay, achievement of goals, and also to get commitment, okay, commitment of individual to such goals, okay, because we work in organization. Okay, take for example, you all are student in education institution. So it's organization. So we organization who drive the organization is people. So people inside the organization who drive who drive the organization. Organization is nothing without people inside. Uh, so uh, and the ultimate purpose to achieve organizational goals. And of course, like the title just now I mentioned to you to achieve organizational excellence. Okay. Now let's uh let me share leadership functions yeah um leadership functions uh from my from what I have learned from my mentor okay that's why I put here copyright Dr Azhari Ismail in which he has shared uh, this um uh, on this topic also to thousand organizations um, in more than 30 years experience in education and, and also in training. Uh, he shared this on this um, on this topic leadership to, to, to thousand organizations. So I would like to share this with you all too. Okay. So there are five leadership functions. Um, leadership functions in, in, in ensuring that a uh, leader, as a leader, how they play a role there as a leader, okay? So first function is group management, okay? Group management, like the word management uh, is about, okay, first thing first, when someone being appointed or assigned as a leader, okay, number one, the leader must make sure that uh, the group, okay, the, the group structure is clear, okay. Um, who will be in charge to lead, okay, who will be in charge for a certain uh, position, 
must be clear at this stage. Okay, like group, group management is about to initiate, also to establish, to develop, to improve, to facilitate, to expand, diversify, to enhance, enhance. So, so all this process, if you can remember, management uh, is about planning, leading, yeah? so planning. So all that happened at this, uh, at this, uh, at, uh, on this first function, okay, group management. Okay, second functions of leadership, second leadership function is setting directions. Okay, once the group form, okay, then set direction. Okay, so I give you an example for students. Uh, most of you, I think all of all uh, usually uh, all students will get assignment in each course, right? So uh, in, in all courses, you maybe give it, uh, be given assignment from your lecturer, okay? Maybe some of the course have group assignment, okay? So once you get the group assignment, you form the group. So group management means you initiate the group and then you set the direction. Set the direction means, okay, this is the assignment that you have to complete, the task that you need to do with your group members. So the direction is uh, you set yeah, to set to, to, to make sure the task uh, the task can be completed within uh, time given. Okay. And then you also set mission, vision, goals, objective. You set the standards. Okay, as a leader, together with group members, yeah, include the group members together, set the standards. Okay. This is what, for example, for students, I give you as a uh, to student in, in your group, for example. Okay, maybe the lecturer has um, set the standard. This is what should be included in your assignment. So, so as a student, you among yourself with your group members, sit together, okay, follow the standard, you know the standard, okay, set. This is what uh, should be done, okay? And what, uh, what is the expectation in which uh, the leader will initiate initiate the process okay initiate um initiate so that everybody in the group okay everybody uh, each member understand their roles yeah and do as what is expected okay next uh, third leadership function is task management. Okay, task management is conventional organizational management function. Okay, task management also about um, it is um, about delegation of tasks. Okay, how leader delegate the task? Yeah, delegate uh, among members. Uh, so. Uh, based on my experience about task management, uh, based on my experience, I look at um, sometimes things, uh, things cannot be done on time or uh, um, not successful because of delegation of tasks is not clear. Okay, who will do what? Okay, who will in charge for what? It's not clear. Then it will lead to failure. Uh, if everybody understand our roles, okay, because if, if we can understand our roles, uh, then it it help. Uh, we can we can we may accomplish you know the, the objective. So that's why delegation of tasks is about task, task task management is very very important in group in organization. We must be clear about the roles tasks. Task, task given to us, okay, task management. And then fourth function on development of members, okay. On development of members is more about personnel development, okay, in, in organization, those who are working is about staff development. Um, uh, yeah, it's about de development others' potential. Um, leaders, yeah, not only to lead, uh, to lead the situation or the process or the task, but leader also play their role in identifying talent, identifying those members 
who has capability in something. Okay. For example, uh, you all as a student, um, you have group work. Okay. So make sure the leader understand. Okay. Uh, members in the group. Okay. Who is um let's say have a talent, have good talent in speaking in front of in front of people. Okay. It's very good in in giving public speaking. Okay. Maybe the leader can assign. Okay. So this will be the person who can present your group. Okay. Because of uh his or her ability in, in public speaking. Can convince people. Yeah. So and maybe in the group. There are people who are very good, not uh, not very good in, in public speaking, but very good in technical work. For example, uh, in handling those related to technology, okay, then the leader can assign or give related tasks to this person. Okay, uh, so that's the role as a leader. Identify other talent and put them at the right position or give them Tasks that suit with their capability. Okay, uh, that's that because that is a part of development of members. Okay, because we know that everybody is unique. I always believe that everybody is everybody has potential, everybody has unique potential. Not to say that everybody must be very good in public speaking, everybody must be very good in all so many things, but there are people very good in in in, in certain areas. Okay, there are people very good in, uh, let's say in that stage. For example, in in, in technical part. So, uh, uh, because in organization, um, we need we need um we need people to work for not to do everything, but maybe to a certain part, certain part. And if we can get people who can do who can do um yeah based on their capability so we may get we may accomplish uh organizational goal okay for a student if you if you uh identify talents among your group members okay uh everybody help each other okay help each other to unleash our potential okay? it's part of development of members and the last function, the last leadership function is evaluation. Okay. Uh, don't forget to evaluate in all aspects, especially when you have done uh, have done uh, like training. Okay, for example, like to this session, to this session or, or uh, um yes, like like this program. Okay, once finished, why not you sit together and do uh, some sort of evaluation? Uh, to it's not to blame, uh, to blame people. Yeah, evaluation is for us to improve. So to improve, so that, let's say we want to have the same program in future, we can do better. Uh, so also same goes to leader. Once um, once the task complete, or maybe the task is still ongoing, um. The leader can can evaluate. They okay? do evaluation to make sure that to make sure they achieve this one standards. Okay, to make sure that everybody on the same what we call uh, on the right on the on the right track. Uh, so that's why we have to have some sort of evaluation. Okay, so these five leadership functions. Okay, now let me continue. This this one. Okay. I would like to ask every one of you, can leadership be taught? What do you think? You may respond to the chat box. What do you think? Can leadership be taught? You can respond to the chat box. Yes or no? What do you think? You may give uh, your opinion. Can leadership be taught? Yes, we are in leadership topic. What do you think? Can leadership be taught? 
ataupun dalam bahasa dalam bahasa adakah kepimpinan boleh uh, bisa diajar what do you think can leadership be taught you can respond through chat box or you want to turn on your mic also okay to to give your opinion mm -hmm. can leadership yes or not what do you think may i know from your perspective Okay, we have two responded here. Yes, it can. Yes, okay, yes. I think it can be taught, but to implement it is based on their own ability to process it. Okay, thank you, Rajas Wiley. Thank you, Novita. Thank you, Hanky. Uh, who else? Let's point here. Okay. So, uh, mo most of you respond, it can be taught. It can be taught. Oh, okay. Um, okay, uh, let me share with you. Okay, yes, we are in uh, this session. Uh, like I said earlier, I would like to share to share uh, on the concept of leadership. Okay, uh, just to share. Okay, but actually, um, even we are in leadership, we so called. Leadership topic, yeah. Leadership topic session. Um, we can, we may get the information. Okay, we may get how leaders, uh, how good leaders should be, but but let's look at this. Okay, this according to Handy, yeah. I think in Adler leadership, leadership skills cannot be taught. But they can be learned or rather discovered. Okay, those who responded, yes. Thank you so much for your response. Okay, this is not, um, don't worry. Uh, maybe this is a new perspective to you. Okay, uh, so this is also something that catch my attention. Uh, previously, when I read through the, the article, and I start to, uh, I, I start, uh, start thinking that. Mm, how yeah because yes leadership uh, leadership leadership skills cannot be taught and uh i i i based on my work experience yes i do agree with this one because skills okay leadership skills also is about uh, an art okay yes we may we may get the information okay how how we should play a role as a leader okay but actually we learn best from experience yeah to get to acquire leadership skill me to acquire leadership skills we learn best from experience we learn best from mistakes yeah so that's why from the author mentioned that leadership skill cannot be taught but they can be learned or rather discovered but the following are necessary. So these four elements yeah, are necessary. First is room to maneuver. Okay, room to maneuver. It's also opportunity to, to change things. And it's also an uh, opportunity to exercise initiative and as experiment. And, and we can, uh, we experience it, we experiment it, if we make mistake, it's okay, but we learn. Okay, don't don't make mistake, but you repeat the same mistake. Ah, uh, is is something wrong with you lah? Is something wrong with us? If we keep on repeating the same mistake, so so that's why the process yeah also involve belief in self. We believe is about uh, efficacy. We believe in self if we. Um, if we want to be a good leader, okay, we keep on improving. We keep on improving based on the mistake we have done previously, okay. And also, it's about broad perspective in which not blinkered by narrow range or narrow range of experience, 
and also uh, its capacity to tolerate loneliness. Okay, so all this by handy. Okay, as cited in this uh, article, the leadership. So it's all about it's, it's practical experience. Yes, we can get the information um, about leadership qualities, okay? Or you you may learn many leadership theories, yeah, in textbook, leadership styles, okay? But in reality, uh, in reality, um, it is better for us to experience ourselves, okay? Uh, so being a student, you have group work. Try practice your leadership skill, okay? Try give uh, instruction and look at how many uh, how many members follow your instruction, okay? If you can follow your instruction, okay, you can work in harmony, then it shows you have the leadership skill, uh, okay? Now, like I said earlier, leadership, if we talk about leadership, it is incomplete if we do not discuss about followership, okay, because both, yeah, both, both actors, okay, leader, followers, okay, both play, uh, both play their roles, uh, leadership and followership, just now, the first part I have covered on leadership function as a leader, what should be done, okay, but on the side of follower, okay, what? What, uh, let's say, if we as a follower, what we should do? Okay, now let's look at this one. Okay, the roles of a follower. Okay, imagine in a group, okay, or in organization, we as a follower, okay, we as a follower, we work together with leader. Okay, so our role, number one, we have to obey the leader and group. Okay, so... Um, anybody appointed to be leader, we obey the leader. Uh, means kita patuh, ya. Yeah? Obey leader patuh, patuh kepada ketua, ya. Yeah? And then support the leader, sokong, support the leader. We also, as a follower, we must reassure the leader. Okay, in in in. in in certain situation in which leader also need um some sort of support and some sort of something that um convince yeah, the leader so reassure the leader we also must correct okay as a follower we we can be someone who can correct and rectify the leader okay because we cannot say the it's perfect. Maybe there are times where they also make mistakes. Huh? So as a follower, we help the leader. Help the leader, correct? And then we work with. We work with and work for. Okay, two different things. We work with and we work for the leader. Okay, that shows our obedience. Yeah? Uh, so kita patuh. Kita patuh ketua. The follow, uh, as a follower also, we have to maintain group reputation, maintain um, to uh, really, uh, you know, um, always follow group norms. Uh, so maintain group reputation, okay? And if the leader give instruction, if we are not clear, ask, seek clarification. Seek clarification from the leader. Okay. Don't let ourselves or yourself in dilemma situation. You are not sure in certain part. You don't want to ask. Okay. It's either you do right or wrong thing. So, but then actually, it's, it's very important to seek clarification. Seek, seek clarification on what. Actually, the leader hopes, okay, what actually the leader expect from you. So that's why seek clarification. And next, maintain adapt within the group. Uh, I put the, the word adapt, you know, to most of you uh, understand is about adapt, adapt, um, um, what's supposed to be, okay, what's supposed to be. 
um, is beyond discipline. Okay. Um, and 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 for example, like adab, um, respect others, I think respect others, yeah, maintain adab within the group. Okay. If there is disagreement among members, okay, discuss um in harmony, okay, discuss in harmony. So because we have we have goals and uh, to be achieved to maintain adult and then prepare oneself to assume leadership position, okay, as a follower. Uh, because we do not know when the leader that we of course we 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 not pray that the leader be some be something not good okay but but we assume let's say any something happened something happened to leader okay um and we need someone to take charge yeah we need some uh from the from 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 the members or followers we need someone to take charge of the role so as a follower, we prepare also ourselves to assume leadership position. To assume if the leader suddenly died or suddenly um, um go somewhere in which cannot um cannot uh you know we need the leader okay but that time we we cannot get access okay or or maybe um the leader cannot um be responsible for certain position okay so prepare oneself to assume leadership position okay. and then recognize one status capacity and responsibility within the group okay and as a follower also participate in group activities participate actively and contributes uh, contributes ideas, okay, give commitment, uh, participate and participate in, in group activities, okay, and as a follower also defend leader if we heard something, uh, something, uh, I mean something not good about leader, uh, but make sure we get the right factors, okay. If it is not true, then defend the leader. If it is not true. Okay, different the leader. And then replace the leader when needed. Uh, this is the time like like the one I, I have uh, mentioned just now, prepare oneself to assume leadership position also. It is uh, when we uh, replace the leader when needed. When um when something happens to the leader or the leader cannot uh, play his or her role anymore, then replace the leader when needed. Okay. And last but not least, as a follower, we also that we also have to sacrifice. Everybody struggle, yeah. Sacrifice for the leader and group. Uh, so if we have both, yeah, this role, leader play his or her role as a as a leader. Follower also understand um understand the roles as a follower. Then we may uh, we may achieve uh, organizational goal or group goals or group objective okay so i settled the, the first the, the second part on followership okay and uh, the first part just now leadership then followed by followership okay now uh, let's look at on the elements yeah uh, elements in in ensuring teamwork okay after we have understand both role leader and follower, let's look at on the elements that can make a team stronger. Uh, so this is also by my mentor, okay, uh, the Azari mine. Okay, there are ten elements of viable teamwork, in which in in Bahasa we call as sepulo element uh, kumpulan teguh. Okay, to to make a team team stronger. Okay, so these are ten elements, ten elements of fiber to work. Okay, maybe you can have this uh, as a checklist. Yeah, 
to see whether uh, your group, okay, we will try to reflect with your group work, okay, because as a student, you have group works, uh, group works, most of the time you have group works, so you want to, uh, if you want to evaluate whether you are strong team or not, okay, now, now let, let's look at together on 10 elements of viable teamwork, okay, first element is about identity, okay, Identity means the way uh, you portray your groups. Okay, identity portrayed by the group. Identity, for example, like your group name. Okay, uh, if you have logo or motto or you have song for your group. Okay, uh, like we in different country. Okay, we have, um, you know, we have. Our our song our uh, song country flag yeah bandera um so all this is about identity identity to represent represent the group okay uh, so yep uh the 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 the, the clearer more if if the identity is clearer okay I could say that. Uh, the the stronger maybe the stronger they do because the first thing first thing first is about identity. Uh, so because sometimes we also be proud because of uh groups identity. Okay, look at the logo, look at the uniform for example. Okay, sometimes because of the uniform, uh can make uh the group members proud of the group. Okay, that's about identity. Uh, identity that. Uh, the group portrait, okay, and second element structure, okay, structure is about the way um the way um roles being arranged, yeah. It's like organizational structure, yeah. When you talk about organization, for example, like if you can imagine, most organization they have organizational chart, right? So um, in organizational chart. Okay, charta organisasi. Okay, so organisational chart indicates um who lead the group or who lead the organisation and followed by whom. So in the structure also represent chain of command. Who should report to whom? Okay, this is about structure. If we are very clear about structure, so we may. Uh, consider this as a strong group, yeah, a viable teamwork. Next, uh, or the third element, mission. Okay, mission. Um, so in, 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 in any groups, yeah, any group set the vision, set the expectation, set the goals, objective and standard. That's what we have. That's what I have explained in leadership function just now. Okay, same goes to ensure viable teamwork, yeah, a strong teamwork, mission should be clear. Uh, we as a leader who drive the group, who drive the organization, state the mission, the vision, which which is our direction, for example. Then group members can easily follow. Okay, it be clear about the mission. Okay, next element. Norms, okay. Norms is about rules, yeah. Accepted rules within the group or accepted rule among organizational members, okay. Norma, kebiasaan, kebiasaan dia, okay. It's about rules. It's about social control system, okay. There's no norms. So if everybody understand uh, the, the the rules in the, in, the, in the group or organization so we we also consider um this as one of the elements of viable in group okay next element task okay task about how uh, task being delegated okay how about delegation of tasks delegation of tasks about rules yeah but rules not only to have um, a nice organizational chart, but everybody must understand. 
Okay. Uh, their position and the task should be um, the task should be accomplished. Okay. So that's very important. Delegation of task. In which um, I think this is uh, among the most important uh, the most important element, delegation of task. If everybody, if everyone is clear about their role, their task, then the process will be easier. Okay. Next on resources, okay. Next element resources. Yes, we can um we can talk so many things, but we must also we, we must uh also make sure that we have enough resources, enough resources in terms of uh those who have uh, knowledge, yeah, those who have um experience to drive the group. Okay, and resources also about technology, about can be uh, in terms of financial, okay, all these, something, all these resources would be, that drive, drive the group, okay, drive the organization. Okay, next on membership, okay, I I put it membership here, okay, uh, because it, it is a feeling, a feeling of belongingness to a group, okay, if you feel belong to the group, um and yes, like the first element identity, we will be proud of the group's identity, okay, or organizational identity. We have tendency to be belong. Yeah, okay? there is a sense of belongingness to, to the group or to the organization. So this is also part of uh elements uh, of viable teamwork. Okay, next communication, which is be very important role in teamwork, yeah. And communication also one of the topics in organizational behavior. Uh, okay, uh, um, in, in yeah, in organizational behavior. Okay, so communication about uh, how each member can communicate to each other. Okay, how about the the system, yeah, the the method to to communicate to each other. So that all information um, can be conveyed, yeah, uh, and everybody get the information. Uh, so through to communication, so everybody must be clear about the communication channel or communication method in organization. Okay, what next? Okay, what next? Environment. Okay, environment is about environment that. Taking care of each member, uh, taking care of each member, start with leader and followed by members. So if everybody taking care of each other, um, keep on reminding, I mean reminding for important tasks, yeah, take care of each other. So this also will uh, contribute or enhance yeah, a, a strong teamwork. And the last but not least, okay, is about elevation. Also, anything, any any aspect we we do, okay, we evaluate, evaluate. Always have, always help evaluate, uh, evolution, evolution, okay. And we also have we do self evaluation, group evaluation, okay, evaluation in organization because this is part of part of improvement process okay evaluation is not to blame others it's not to to point on to point on others mistake it's not okay it's not the purpose of evaluation but if we identify the mistake that is the starting point to improve okay to improve so all these 10 elements of viable teamwork or 10 10 elements to make a stronger group okay now let me proceed on this one. Okay, we have finished on leadership, followership, on the teamwork. Okay, I include this topic, okay, self-development strategies, because I always believe that um to be a good leader, okay, because we do not know who will be appointed to be leader, and maybe sometimes we can expect who will be a leader. But everybody, actually, we all of us has um um responsibility to to develop ourselves okay? before we can meet others we develop ourselves 
Okay, so that's why I include this topic on self-development strategy. Because self-development is part of human potential development in which ultimately to develop everybody, okay, to develop society. So in a bigger context, we start with person, then hopefully uh, society get benefit, yeah. So how to develop, yeah, not to say that at this point, I, I also in, in, in the process of developing myself too, okay, I also in the process of still in learning process, yeah, to develop, it's not, um, because this process is not, um, it's, it's ongoing process, okay, ongoing process, not, not to say that, um, you just develop yourself while you are a student. Okay, once you feel you are you finish your study, once you complete your study, you become employee. Also, a process. Okay, process to develop ourselves because learning is a continuous process. The same goes to 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 develop ourselves. It's a continuous process, and I would like to share with you um some of the strategies here. Yeah? Because we want to develop to be leader, yeah, to be a good leader, hopefully, hopefully. And I also still in developing myself, yeah, still in uh, unleashing uh, my potential. Okay, first, identify personal mentors. I do have one, yeah, I, I do have, um, like I, I, I uh, mentioned to you a lot today, um, most of the points from, from my mentor, yeah. So have personal mentor who know your talent. Okay, sometimes uh, we we sometimes we think that we feel like we know ourselves. Okay, but but there are things that maybe we don't realize about ourselves. So that's why we need someone to to how how to say. To identify our talent, okay, and then maybe the person can inform to us, okay, uh, what is our talent, okay. So that is the purpose of having mentor. Same goes to me, my mentor, who always not only to not only to advise, but my mentor also also the one who who um who identify who uh, the one who inform me the talent that I have. Uh, so, so I would like to share to you all, have mentor, mentor, your mentor can be from your, anybody who, who you feel uh, inspired, yeah, because of their personality, their character, yeah. Uh, and you can communicate with the person. There is something that make you uh, feel um, that is fired. Yeah. Uh, so get personal mentor. Second, expand expand network. Okay, expand network. Um, for example, like you among uh class members here yeah? or classmate among classmate. Um. You already have the network, okay, among classmates. Okay, maintain that network, okay. And expand network, okay, like for today's session, we just get to know each other, okay. We may expand this network, yeah. Um, You may keep in touch with me, okay, contact with me. If you come to Malaysia, let, let me know, okay. So maybe we can uh, have collaboration, yeah. So expand network because we do not know when when we need other person. Okay, maybe I need you or maybe you need my help. Just let me know. So I, I, I expand network, yeah, uh, as part of uh, development. We, we learn uh, from each other. Okay, expand network. Next, um, continuously learn or continuous learning. Uh, always remember, learning process doesn't stop. Uh, even you finish your study, actually, outside educational institution, there are so many things that we learn. Okay? We learn uh, through our life experience. We learn uh, with um, we learn a lot with um, um relationship with others. We in which 
um, maybe we may meet someone who guides us or maybe we meet someone who cause more problem to us but still okay if we meet this kind of person someone who add more problem to us okay not to say that it uh, they make your life um worse but always see on the positive side maybe there are something that you can um you can learn from the situation something that you or we can uh, actually develop something from our side uh, so uh, the more challenges we encounter uh, the more challenges we face uh, i think the better we are uh, because it it develop ourselves it develop our um, leadership skill yeah especially because our topic all leadership it develop our our communication skills perhaps yeah so yeah continuous learning next always do self evaluation evaluate ourselves um we don't think like all the things that we do is correct okay maybe there are room for improvement always evaluate 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 uh, ourselves and then expand your hobbies okay expand um to me like my um uh, myself my career as a as an academician require me to read a lot and actually reading is one of my hobbies i enjoy reading uh so um become because reading okay one of my hobbies and my career also require me to read to write okay so in order for me to write i have to read so alhamdulillah like i i, I feel i feel grateful because uh reading is part of my hobby so i enjoy i enjoy doing that and yeah because it's also my career uh, so uh, expand your hobbies who knows from your hobbies um you can uh, for example you can make money from your hobbies and it is uh you know if you can do something that is your passion is even better now you will enjoy life if you do uh, something based on your passion okay and last but not least explore life okay explore life uh, enjoy life and explore life okay the more people we meet uh, the more things we learn okay so all this as part of self development strategies in order for us to develop our self to be a good leader inshallah hopefully i also in in developing myself yeah also in learning process um because everybody can be because all of us actually is leader a leader all of us okay we are uh, uh in in islamic place we call caliph caliph or khalifa we are caliph okay we all are leader the leader we lead ourselves then we can lead ourselves then we may lead others in a better way okay um okay i think i uh do it um the end of my slide okay uh, I would like to leave you all with this quote. Okay. Leadership is a matter of intelligence, trustworthiness, humanness, courage, and discipline. Reliance on intelligence alone results in rebelliousness. Exercise on humanness alone results in weakness. The exertion on trust results in folly. Dependence on the strength of courage results in violence. Excessive discipline and sternness in command result in cruelty. But when one has all five virtues together, have all this one, intelligence, trustworthiness, humanness, courage, and discipline, okay, each appropriate to its function, then one can be a leader. This quote by Sun Tzu, 
the author of the art of war. Okay, I think uh, this is the end of my slide. Okay, I have done uh, I have done sharing um uh, some of the things that I've learned okay uh, regarding leadership and also a little bit my my experience on this matter. So with that, I uh yeah I I, I end this uh with this this uh session. Okay, so maybe we can open for. So I, I give it to host, okay? All right, Namita. I, I pass the session to you. Thank you so much for Dr. Nisa for your presentation. It's very wonderful. For our audience, if you want to ask question, you can raise your hand or you can write in room chat. Okay, for first question, we have Mr. Henke. Yeah, for Mr. Henke, the time is yours. Thank you. Thank you uh, for the chance. This is uh, an honor to get the material today. And I am so confused because as long as I learned management over 20, 20 years, eh, leadership cannot be taught. But so probably before I, I wrote a uh, journal, mm -hmm. it can be. I'm confusing. Maybe uh, Dr. Nisa can uh, give me uh, insight about that. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Henke. Isn't it? Mr. Henke. Okay. Um, about the, the statement, actually, is is. I, yep, it's like, um, you know, uh, maybe to some people it's like controversial statement. I mean, uh, okay, it, it is um, the leadership skills cannot be taught, but actually they can be learned. Okay, this one, this one I refer to an article, yep, an article uh, by Handy yeah, in Leadership Journal, in Leadership Journal. So that's why in the first place, yes, I do agree that I mean, we actually, uh, because we have been taught eh, in, in like in, in class, in, in subject um, about leadership, but this is something that uh, when I read through the article, um, something that made me wonder actually. I also, uh, in, in the same, in, in the same uh, position, uh, like your thought, yeah? Um, um, so, but then the things that I mentioned here, uh, based on the article by Handy, yeah, there are several things, yeah, even though the author, the author mentioned cannot be taught, but there are uh, elements that are necessary. So, so that's why I just bring uh, the, the information, uh, but yes, it's subject to um yeah uh, some people may have different points of view uh different points of view um maybe some people think that leadership can be taught uh, and from this author's um from this author's perspective it cannot be taught maybe due to situation in which require practical experience so practical experience to um you know, to handle maybe certain situation, okay. Um, and uh, at the first place, uh, in the first place, I also think that this is can be taught, but yeah, um, my my perspective also changed when I read through. But I also open uh, to uh, to to the uh audience to to give your opinion. Okay, maybe you don't agree with this statement. It's also okay. But can I can I get um your opinion your point of view too, Mr. Henke, on this part because you're also in management, right? So, uh, we appreciate uh your um I appreciate your point of view too. Oh, maybe uh, 
Uh, well, I like to share with you. Maybe we can uh, discuss uh, after the session. Uh, the journal uh, on the chat by Red Law just uh, published. Yeah. This mentioned in the journal that this can be. So I think maybe this is a uh, organization behavior have uh, innovation. And then uh, I think this is a new issue. And uh, regarding to my mind, it makes sense that uh, leadership can be taught because uh, nobody, nobody perfect in the world to be a leader. I think uh, that's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Henke. Okay, is there any question? Okay, thank you for answering, Dr. Khairun. And then we will... I will read first question from audience in the YouTube. This is from Mr. Ms. Dia Rahmi. How to maintain the capability on the capacity for the leader in the magic, the organization with good draw model of leadership and not only to meet just for getting the follower with, with, without ignoring the organization mindset. mindset. Thank you. Mm, sorry, I don't get the question clear. Um, can you repeat the question? With... I will read in the room chat. Okay. For from Dia Rahmani. Okay. And this one. Okay, how to maintain the capability on the capacity to different things. Capability, capacity, okay. The capability on the capacity for the leader in the magic the organization. I think it's so many. In the magic the organization with, oops, with good raw model of leadership and not only to meet just for getting the follower without ignoring the organization mindset. Okay, but the main question is about to maintain the capability. Okay, how to maintain the capability of the leader. Um, leader play roles in, okay, they have to show good example. Okay, that's why uh, if you can recall from the components of leadership, um, to influence people through exemplary behavior, okay? If the leader portray good example of good uh, behavior, show it, uh, they show in their action, then that's how they can maintain. They maintain. So let's say they uh, say something and promise to do something, they do that, okay? Uh, that's how they maintain their capability because uh, as a follower of, or as um, people, we want to see leader who can, um, leader who can, uh, who can do, who can benefit everyone, okay, who can make their promise uh, work, yeah. Uh, yang, yalah, uh, whatever the, 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 the leader promise, the, uh, the leader make sure that it works. Uh, um, because this is a process of gaining trust. Gaining trust from people. From people. So people or follower will look at on the leader's behavior. Uh, so, so that's how a leader can maintain their capability. Uh, not only words to talk, but remember, uh, like the phrase, um, uh, uh, sorry, uh, walk the talk, yeah, uh, like the phrase, okay? So, um, and it's not made just for getting the follower without ignoring the organization method. So, in this case, to me, uh, in, in a bit, uh, coming back to the question, maintain the capability, maintain, maintain the capability through actions. 
Okay, gaining trust from others through action. If the leader can show or portray good uh, behavior, then the leader can maintain the capability. Okay, I think that's my answer for that question. Okay, uh, next question from from which one? Dida, Dida, right? Okay. Uh, okay, I just read the question. Okay. What is the difference between trained leader and natural born leader? Okay, actually, I am the leader of women organization. Oh, that's good. Congratulations to Miss Dida. Uh, so, we have leader here. I think maybe um, Miss Dida also have something to share. Um, okay, based on her experience, okay, but it's a very good question. Okay, what is the difference between trained leader and not nat natural born leader? Okay, yes, in, organi in organizational behavior, we one of the topics we have personality. So, personality, uh, there are people who are born with leadership trait. Okay, we can see clearly from daddy, from, from since kids, we can see clearly that this, this kid have. Uh, leadership trait okay but there are also people uh, maybe they are not very um, you know not uh, too uh, their, their, their leadership character is not uh, too obvious okay but it is a trait that can be trained okay it's still that can be trained ah so same goes like just now tadi uh, leadership can be learned can be learned can be discovered uh, so, this is the main point I want to highlight. Leadership is can be learned, like, like the automation, okay? Can be learned, can be discovered. Okay, different is, uh, the different is, um, um, you know, uh, those trained leaders, um, they, they, like, have um, a system or surrounding that um, maybe, uh, push the, the person to be leader. And if the leader have both, it's even better. Okay, if the leader have natural trait and being trained, it's even better. Uh, so, um, um, but the difference, the difference we can see from, from the way, um, from the way the person lead an organization or lead a group. Okay, uh, we can see the difference. Uh, um, but not to say that um, a good leader must be born leader because leader also something that we can polish, we can develop the leadership, we can develop leadership skill if if um, we have the pressure to learn, okay, uh, to continuously improve, yeah, to be to be a good leader, okay. So I think um um. Please answer the, the question, uh, Miss Dida. Okay, so I'm good to hear. Okay, the leader of woman nation. I'm very proud to to hear. Um, yeah, woman leader. Uh, okay, most. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Miss. Uh, actually, it's not easy to be a leader because um. There are some systems and uh, people, right? Uh, we focus on the system of organization and people. Yeah, but sometimes uh, I see uh, many, uh, especially for women, yeah, especially for women, I join. Actually, I always, uh, I'm always chosen as leaders in several organizations, but uh, sometimes I don't know why uh, should I am. Uh, many people uh, think uh, think of me that uh, what is it? Uh, I can be uh, I can be a leader and lead uh, some organization. Even even though I I never uh, propose uh, or propose myself to be a leader in some organization. Yeah, uh, maybe from the from your explanation, it's good. I, I think difference, yeah, trained a leader. Trained leader, we can learn from many books, from many trainings, and there are some uh, leadership training, right? But natural born leader, 
uh, I think uh, they are born as a leader, even they not uh, give train, maybe because of the personality and about the attitude and about the how to influence, I think, how to influence others. I mean, that is uh, more important. Sometimes uh, a leader uh, not, uh, cannot influence others or followers because, uh, I don't know, because of what? Um, maybe because of uh, followers not know their personality or their attitude as a leader or having a good leadership. So uh, trust and trusted and influencing uh, influencing are more important to be a leader. What, what do you think about that, Miss? Yes. Uh, uh, okay, being a leader, okay. Uh, first, I would like to congratulate you, uh, Miss yeah. Um, because um, you know, you have been appointed to be leader. Um, people appoint you, people want you to, people choose you to be a leader. You know, when people choose you, means you have unique characteristic, unique personality in which people uh, identify, okay? There are times, okay? There are times that we, like me, myself, I also, there are times that I feel like I don't want to be a leader, okay? But I've been appointed by uh, by my friends, for example, okay? So, uh, when this situation happened, um, because there, there are things that we uh, not realize about ourselves, but actually, People can see, okay. People, people trust. Ah, the word is that the word trust, okay. You maybe because your personality, your character, which you able to gain trust from people, and and people can see, people can feel, people can feel when you lead a group, for example, you lead. Um or a uh, 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 club, for example, or, or organization. Yeah, you lead an organization. Um, if people like you, yes, for sure they will. They want you to be leader. Uh, that this is even better. Yeah? If we work in a situation where people appoint, okay, people choose you. Uh, mm-hmm. and you get support actually, support from from people around. That this is this is even better. Uh, yes, I think uh, that's uh, that's that's my opinion. Okay, Miss Vida. Okay, thank you, Miss. Actually, I'm still learning. Yeah, uh, learning forever. I think to be leaders, uh, cannot be satisfied in one field, but we have to learn more and more to yes. influence mm-hmm. other or to train other. Uh, other leaders because uh, in my followers I have some leaders mm-hmm. yes uh, right. I, I, I train them to be leaders too not only follower yes a good leader also they can they can not to say produce but they can develop others to be leader better than themselves uh, a good leader this is uh, advice from my mentor okay same goes teacher leader a good teacher a good leader can produce leader better than than uh, than themselves okay than than the person okay um yes it's not easy to to influence but uh, being a leader um uh, being a leader whatever we do yeah our behavior uh being observed by followers. So to gain their trust, uh, we must be very careful in, in our decision, in our behavior. Yes, there are times that we cannot satisfy everybody uh, because we also have our perspective. Other also have other perspective. Uh, other people also have their own perspective. But what we can do is we try to uh, work in harmony. We uh encourage also others to to give their perspective because as a leader sometimes there are aspects or things that we neglected okay not to say that we as a leader perfect okay we that's why continuously learning is very important we we keep on learning okay we keep on improving uh so so 
So that's it from me. Okay. Pardon me. Uh... Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, thank you for your sharing knowledge. Thank you. All right. Nice to see you. Excuse me, uh, I have a visitor. I have to leave. Uh, so sorry. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining, Mr. Hanky. Okay. And then. Oh, oh, Mr. Hanky, want to say something? You want to share something? Oops, sorry. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. I have to leave now. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, and then we will go to the next question. This is from Miss Mr. Sudarto. Mm -hmm. Can we make an organization that it member covered from Indonesia and Malaysia and special for the research will like will like make research on education file? Thank you. Uh, this is um sorry to just to clarify. Okay. Um so uh, so so it's about maybe I I don't get it here. Sorry, that's sorry. I will repeat again. Okay. Can we make an organization that it member cover from Indonesia and Malaysia, and special for the research will like make research on education field? Sure, sure, no problem. If you like, uh, collaboration in doing research, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure this is question from Mr. Sudarto. Okay. This collaboration. Yeah, it is the question inside this question. Maybe you can uh, say something. Okay. Okay. Huh? okay so, so we'll menunggu, so I will continue with another question. <laughs> yes. Yeah. For the next question, how to motivate subordinates so that their enthusiasm is maintained so that organization goals can be a safe achieve achieve properly? Mm -hmm. Okay. This okay. is a question from Mr. Solikan. Thank you. Okay, great questions. It's about how to motivate. Okay, how to how to motivate um uh, subordinate. Yep. Uh, how to motivate is easy. Nah, this is not easy, easy. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, to motivate people, okay, we understand. Okay. Uh, we have to understand what motivates people to work. Okay. Um, for example, yeah. There are people motivates to work because of their um personal, like their passion or because of they get something, yeah. Uh, this from uh, motivational theories okay so but for us okay in reality for us to motivate subordinate okay we have to understand um from from their perspective that's why i said the first matter i open with the word did some touch the heart okay touch the heart that's actually that's the keyword to motivate others we touch people hard. How to touch people hard? We understand their preferences. We understand what they like, what we don't like. What, what are the things that they dislike? What are the things they like? Okay. Um. Um. So, for example, like okay, I give you much of student, like student, yeah. Uh, to motivate students, okay, give something that um, uh, help them. Okay, something that. They like okay student okay currently um currently the, the current trends what what happened in in current situation okay we follow with updates and then this can be the thing that we can um when we with uh for example like when lecture with a student can discuss together okay we also follow the current trends okay we be part. Okay, of of their situations. Okay, then we can be in that situation. So it's something that yeah, you know, to motivate others, we 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 touch their heart, understand what they like, what they don't like. Okay, oh. yeah, that's it. <laughs> 
Okay, thank you for answer. I think it's a very clear answer from Professor And then we will have a next question. How can we distinguish people who really have a leadership skills and only those who have a bossy attitude? This is question from Ms. Sukanto. Thank you. Okay, is it a question from the chat box or from YouTube? I'm writing from audience in YouTube and copy in Zoom chat. Oh, okay. So already in, in the chat. Uh, so how can we distinguish people who really have leadership skills and only those who have a bossy attitude? Okay. How can we distinguish it? We just look at from the action. Okay. Um good leader they can understand or they think not only from their perspective only but they, they may um they may try to put themselves in other shoes okay they try to think from others um perspective respect other perspective um so to distinguish we can easily I mean, Observe from from the action actually, from the action. Um. So yeah, like 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 the statement here, bossy attitude. Uh. So how can you, uh, claim the leader, uh, as bossy attitude unless you identify from the action, right? Okay. So that's how we, um, that's how we, um. You know, from 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 the observation, uh, so so um, a good leader actually, uh, yeah, it's about influence. But um, if too much, if too much on you know bossy attitude or only only me correct ah that attitude hanya dia sahaja yang betul is 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 very uh dangerous lah yeah uh and um maybe in, in in some situation yes maybe we meet this kind of leader uh with, with the so-called like i i term uh, the 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 uh the state yeah bossy attitude maybe we meet this kind of um this kind of leader uh but in the long term um in the long term maybe there are people who 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 dislike this this kind of style yeah so a good leader uh can play their role re, uh, can play their that fit with certain situation uh not to say that um must be okay like leader can be people oriented or task oriented okay there are time that we need both both okay people oriented and task oriented task oriented is needed when we need to accomplish especially important tasks, okay? But we also remember, we also must remember that we, we want to get things done through others. So we must have human touch also. So if we... Uh, your first still mute. Uh, miss your voice mute. Unmute. Okay. All right. So I I I think that you want to stop me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Accidentally mute. <laughs> okay. So uh so I do not know until which point uh you know need that you heard. Okay. To me, um uh a good leader should know um which situation uh play a role based on situation okay because situation sometimes unique yeah unique so, and and not to say the same style must be or applicable to many situation okay so it depends on the situation um so, uh, i think that's it my my answer for this session okay okay um, the last question from Fesiria in Zoom chat. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready to read in the room chat, please. 
Okay, in the room chat. Okay, so a person's leadership style in an organization can affect the progress of an organization for sure. Yes. What if uh, the person has that person has a bad personality? Okay, such as giving a small salary but not in accordance with the work. Huh? That is the problem actually. So can do the can the organization develop if employees are not treated as human beings. I like this question. Okay. This question, yeah. Um, that's why in organizational behavior, um, we learn also about motivation. Okay, there are so many motivation theories. Um, we understand what motivates people to work. Okay, so and one of the motivation theory mentioned that mentioned about salary in which can motivate okay salary salary uh, so if if uh, the organization the organization cannot provide the things that uh, people hopes yeah, or cannot meet employees expectation how the organization can develop so uh, in this situation um in this situation we have to um we have to look at from the perspective of we are as human beings okay treat people the way we want to be treated as a leader treat people as the way you want to be treated okay if okay this is suppose i i i i talk from the leader perspective lah then i go to the employees okay so from leaders perspective if if we want to get things done through other, we give what they want. I mean, um, yeah, if, 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 if have enough lah, I mean, have uh, like if um, the financial, I mean, um, yeah, the things that uh, can be given, okay, to, to the employees, okay, understand their needs. So, um, give or provide employees need. Because we need employees to do works, okay, both win-win situation, okay. But if uh, the organization don't treat people, don't treat people well, uh, so we have the risk to lose this employee, okay. Risk to to the employees have uh, um oppo have have um option maybe to quit uh, so you know to the cost to recruit to recruit employees sometimes it, 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 it we the organization have to spend some amount of money to recruit and what if suddenly the employees resign okay look at from from organization what are the weaknesses that make the employees resign from the organization maybe there is something need to be revised, maybe in terms of salary, maybe in terms of facilities, maybe in terms of um, environment in which employees don't like to work in that organization. So in this case, organization leaders have to have to make comprehensive evaluation, comprehensive assessment because we want to recruit employees. We want to have uh, employees who can work longer okay who can work and help organization to achieve goal okay then we need to treat like to treat the way we want to be treated okay of course everybody want to be treated well right if we ask everyone of us okay we want to be treated uh, in good situation, we want to get good salary, we want to work in good environment, we want to have supportive system. So all of us want to have good, uh, so I could, good thing. So why not if we have the uh, power eh, to lead the organization, we provide all this good, all these good things, provide uh, and treat employees the way we want to be treated. Uh, so I think if we have the mindset, uh, the mindset of uh, treat employee uh, like the way we want to be treated, so we we supposed to know, okay, uh, and supposed to know and to treat 
employees um, the best, as best as we can. Uh, so, um, so that's why um, about about the uh, about development, yeah, development because um, organizational also, organization behavior also about developing employees, right? So developing um to develop to develop employees leader their roles both both okay employees also um um have the patient yeah have the interest to continuously learn continuously develop themselves provided that organization leader uh, the leader of the organization also play their role in this situation okay i'm so sorry they can see me here uh you we had azan um uh, wait for a few uh, minutes Okay, so yeah, so thank you for the uh, uh, Novi commission. Yeah, this is Alban, so the Asal, this is me, the Malaysia. Okay. So I think uh, that's only uh, my my answer to to this question, uh, Vesilia. Okay. Uh, from the chat box, Rajesh Rajesh very also Rajesh very also share uh her points of view here. Okay, so everybody can also read, right? Okay, is there any question? Any more? From uh, YouTube and Zoom is no more question again. Okay. So there is no question. Okay. Uh, so um, uh, okay. I would like because uh, it's, it's, you, 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 towards the end lah, of our session. So I would like to take this opportunity to uh, to say thank you very much. Um, to all of you, thank you very much for your uh, participation. It's it's great uh, session to have um to have to, to to have sharing session and also to have Q and A session with this one. Um, thank you so much for your participation and I would like to apologize also if there is mistake or weakness in my sharing session. Uh, hope to have more collaboration in future perhaps. Yeah, we uh, so I welcome all of you. Um, and also, uh, staff from Stefan. Yeah, uh, maybe we can have uh some more collaboration in future. So thank you so much for organizing this event. Thank you so much for Dr. Hayrun Nisa. I request no one asking again. May I continue the next session to time for take a picture for documentation. So Miss Fabi, you will handle it this session thank you okay thank you miss novita uh, sorry sorry 
Okay, for those who have an activated the camera, you can active the camera first so we can take photos together. Ya, bagi peserta yang belum mengaktifkan kameranya bisa diaktifkan terlebih dahulu agar kita bisa foto bersama. Uh, baik, saya hitung dari satu, dua, tiga. Once again, one, two, three. Okay, thank you. I will return the event to Miss Novita. Thank you for Miss Webby. Finally, we come to the end of it of visiting lecture today we would like to say thanks again for dr hairunisa for their wonderful information thank you for sharing your knowledge we hope this information will be beneficial for our audience and i hope we can meet again in another event in the future also i would like to thanks for all participants for attending this visiting lecture today and making this event more interesting at least we hope to have more collaboration in the future with your university with the offline on or online collaboration this visiting lecture for today ends here. We hope to see you soon. Thank you and see you and have a nice day for Dr. Hairunisa and for everyone. Thank you so much. See you soon and goodbye. Okay, have a nice day, everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. Thank you and My goodbye. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Okay, I think that's enough for today's event. Thank you. Good afternoon. Have a good rest. Bye-bye.